En unos segundos vas a escuchar una conversación completamente en inglés entre mi amigo Josué y yo. Josué es una persona súper interesante. Nació en República Dominicana, aprendió inglés, se fue a Estados Unidos, formó un negocio digital que hace millones de dólares al año en ventas. Perdió millones de dólares en 2018. Tuvo que empezar a trabajar en una gasolinera para tener dinero para renta y volvió a recuperar todo su dinero de nuevo. Es un gran amigo mío y aquí vamos a escuchar toda su historia. Esto va a ser una gran práctica para tu inglés porque vas a escuchar mucho inglés, lo cual es la causa, la clave para aprender un idioma. Escuchar mucho, consumirlo. De hecho, si quieres mejorar tu habla en inglés, simplemente tienes que escuchar más. Es causa y efecto. Ahora, si no entiendes muy bien inglés todavía, no te preocupes. Tienes la opción de colocar subtítulos en español y también en inglés si quieres desafiarte un poquito. Mi recomendación es intentar primero con subtítulos en inglés y si sientes que no entiendes mucho, vuelva a colocar los subtítulos en español y luego puedes volver a escuchar la entrevista otra vez con subtítulos en inglés. Ahora, si te gusta gusta esta entrevista, no olvides regalarnos un like y suscríbete aquí al canal para que no pierdas futuros videos. No sé si lo sabes, pero ese like y suscripción ayuda mucho a que los videos aquí en el canal tengan más alcance. Y así me ayudas a mí en mi trabajo, así a mi visión de un Latinoamérica donde no hay una sola persona que no hable inglés. Así que muchísimas gracias de antemano por tu tiempo hoy. Vamos a arrancar con toda. Yo soy Kale Anders, tu coach de inglés y tu sueco favorito. Empecemos. All right, let's get started. So, we're here with Josué. Thank you so much for taking your time, bro. I really appreciate it. For sure. I appreciate you taking the time and inviting me over. So, you're a successful entrepreneur. You were a professional football player and you have a story where you weren't born in the US and now you speak English like a an American native speaker. So where does all of this start? Like you were born in the Dominican Republic. Correct. Yeah, born and raised in the Dominican Republic. And I lived there until I was 21, 22. I'm 31 right now. So lived my entire life, graduated from college. I went to college for electromechanical engineer. In the US? In DR, in the Dominican okay. Republic. And then I moved to the United States with a student visa. So you didn't move because your parents moved or something like no. that. You well, moved on your own. Well, they, they moved first and then I followed. So my, my dad got a job in Indiana, out of all places. Okay. Cold. My neighbor was a fat girl, a cow, a pig, and corn. It okay. was horrible. Yeah. And then a lot of snow. And then I moved in the middle of nowhere. Sounds like where I grew up. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> but I don't think Sweden has, has the, the obesity problem that the United no. States has. No. So that was, you know, anyways. But I moved there. Yeah. And um, there was nothing to do except work, study, and work. And yeah. then shovel snow. Yeah. So that that was that. So when did the football start? Was that in Dominican Republic? Dominican Republic, yep. Okay. So I started social media. Well, for context, today I have a company that does sales and online marketing. Yeah. Right. I started all this stuff back when I used to live in Dominican Republic. Okay. So my dream was to become a professional soccer player, like you mentioned. Yeah. But nobody's got a Dominican Republic to find a soccer player. They go there for baseball, right? Ah, uh, yes. So my thought was like, I'm going to grow my social media to hopefully get a contract to be a pro soccer player. I started in 2013. To this day, the YouTube videos are there. It's like Elation Fitness and Elation Football. And then it's, it's JPTV. The, the channels are still there. Um, and that's how I started. Playing soccer, doing fitness, and posting the videos online to try to get recognition. Yeah. I moved to the, uh, Indiana in 2014, 2015. And then I keep growing my stuff. And because of my social media, I did get the chance to be a pro. But at the time, I said no. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go all in into business. Yeah. So that was 2016. I remember very clearly it was September 13th, 2016, when my life completely changed because okay. I made $3,500 in a single day from one client that paid me that amount of money for me to help him with Instagram. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Because it was Tim Gu. I still remember. Ah, I yeah, still remember his name and everything. Yep. I still remember the first course I ever sold. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you probably remember the name, <laughs> and the, the, the email, the, the everything. <laughs> yeah. Because like that one little change and shift in your mindset is like, this yeah. is possible. Yeah. So, so, so wh where does your English come into all of this? Like, did you learn English before arriving to the US or after you went to the US or how was that? Yeah. So I learned in Dominican Republic, but obviously perfected it in Indiana. Yeah. So I built the business in English 100%. Today we have both English and Spanish yeah. and Spanish is blowing up like crazy, which is yeah. fun. But I, I started in DR and here's, I actually messaged you this and like, don't tell me. So I'm going to tell you here today. Steve Jobs has a saying that you can only look backwards to connect all the dots, okay. right? The way I learned English was almost by mistake in a very bad way. So you know me for years. I'm a very chill guy today, but something you don't know is I'm very angry. I fight a lot. Oh, really? Or I used to, right? With so other people. 
Yeah, with other people. Well, today I box jiu-jitsu, all that stuff, right? To just release energy. But um, back then, I was in fifth grade and um, just going to regular school. And a guy started bothering me. Yeah. And I used to like just got mad and like push him around, etc. One day, he hit me with a big math book on my head. I push him down and I kick his two front teeth out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I kick his two front teeth out. Obviously, I get expelled. Yes. From school. Yeah. As you can imagine. So, um, my parents, what they did, because I got spelled from school, then they put me in a bilingual school that was just around the corner from my house in Santiago, yeah. where I used to live. And that's where I actually learned English. Yeah. So, because something really, really bad happened, yeah. which is like, I got spelled from school, yes. I used to fight a lot, my dad was a pastor in the church at the school that I went to, whole drama. And then that little bad thing allowed me to go into bilingual school. Yeah. Allow me to learn English. I didn't even know how to say Coca-Cola. Like, it was that bad. Wow. And then, allow me to learn English. And because of that, then, I'm able to have the business I have today. Yeah. It's, if, without that, I would not have the business at all. So, it's... It, English has opened doors for me that I would have never been able to open yeah. if I didn't have the language. Yes. And what was it that they did in the bilingual school? You were just listening to English all the time. All the time. It was bilingual. It was actually English. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it was like there was, I think, two classes in Spanish, which was like Espanol. Yeah. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and, and that, yeah, that, that was the three. But all the kids in that school were kids from uh, that used to come like New York to study in the R, like their parents from like New York and whatever. Yeah. So every single kid there spoke fluent English, 100%. And I remember that I used to like this teacher a lot. Like this was my crush. Her name was Miss Kelly. Oh, so okay. I still remember, like still remember sixth grade. And um, I remember that everything was in English. It was talking in English and I didn't understand a lick of English, nothing. And I was just like, what the heck are all these guys saying? Yeah. And it was it was very uncomfortable for me, yeah. right? Because you're in an environment that everybody's trying to socialize and you're like, what the heck is happening? Yeah. So it, that was like that, but English changed my life, like a hundred percent. Yeah, that's awesome. But so these other people like were foreigners that study with you. Yep. And you were one of the few locals Correct. in there. Yeah. I, I, How was that like? It must have been frustrating as hell. Everyone, yeah. like all the kids are speaking in English. Yeah. All the kids were speaking in English. Everybody had like their own little subgroup. Yes. I was like the one kid that was just like, wow, what the heck is happening here? Yeah. And then I was good in sports. So that was the only thing that allowed me to like get a little, you yeah. know, community yes. you will yeah. so like i remember like recess and then uh sports or uh what is it physical education whatever um we used to play basketball soccer volleyball so yeah. i was like always involved in that yeah and that's what allowed me to socialize with other people without speaking the language yeah but it was hard it was hard because i remember like that and then not understanding anything and then having to study and work super hard after school for hours and hours on end just to do one homework exactly just like you know because it's not just the homework it's it's in itself it's the language as well Correct. Exactly. So that was, I remember like being tough. And then I remember like, as I started learning English and today, my, I think in English, I don't even know how to explain it, but you think in English. Yeah. Back then, when you start learning English, you first think in Spanish and yeah. then you translate to English. Yes. And then as you get better, you just think in English. Yeah. So, um, back then it was just like all Spanish and think in Spanish and then little by little start translating in English and then it just became fluid, um, with years, but it took me three years, yeah, three years to learn English yeah. broken, right? Cause it wasn't perfect. And then years later when I moved to Indiana, yeah, it became a lot better because also the business was in English. It was, I was forced to yeah. speak. Yeah. And then the English you hear today. Yeah is a product of me having to speak English all the time yes, on videos exactly. and Zoom calls and conferences and whatever. And you listen to yourself. Correct. You hear yourself. That's yep. the best feedback you can get. Correct. And I used to edit all my own videos too. Yeah. So I studied videography, photography and all that stuff. So I, I will record just like this. Yeah. I will then go edit the video. So I have to yeah. listen to myself. Yes. And then I will edit the videos and then post them and do yeah. the same thing again tomorrow. Exactly. So I'm like that constant loop, if you will, yes. of having to talk in English and yep. then edit the videos in English yeah. allow me to have the English I have today. That's exactly what we do with our students, actually, I love in it. the pronunciation part. So one of the best things you can do for your pronunciation is just listen to yourself a lot. So you record yourself reading, speaking, and just listen to yourself. And you're going to you're gonna be very uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it is uncomfortable <laughs> and, as hell. Yeah. And the, here's the interesting thing. Like scientifically also, you hate your own tone. Yes. And the reason why that is, I, I don't know like the exact science behind it, but it's because when I hear you, yeah. I'm not hearing myself. So like boy, when you hear yourself, you, the, the, the ear can't like 
I don't know, something around like the dissonance or something like that. Okay. In your brain, you're like, what the heck is happening? Oh, really? So that's right. why, because I'm thinking about it, like 3,000 years ago, there was no way you could hear yourself. No, no. Now we have recordings and audios and stuff like that. Yeah. So our brains are not really designed to hear ourselves speak. No, no. That is, it's that, listen to yourself a lot and exaggerate a lot. Like, I remember when I had to learn the R's in Spanish. <laughs> Almost impossible. <laughs> like, carretera. Carro, perro. Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> that sound does not exist in any other language. The bloody... Rrr. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta really exaggerate that sound. And it's the same in English. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, in English, the, the hard part that I found is like, it doesn't make sense sometimes. It's like no. the in and out. Yeah. What are we, are we in a room? Yeah. Yes. But are we on a car or on a train or in a train or yeah. on a plane? Yeah. It's like that, stuff like that, it's like make no sense whatsoever. Yeah. But it, it like talking. Yeah forces you to do stuff. Yes. And it's by far the best thing that has happened to me. You live your life in the language. Live your life in the language and your language is going to change mm -hmm. completely. Yep. Like if you listen to English, like the cost of language learning is listening, right? Yep. Input, what you get into your brain, what you read and you, well, what you listen to. And then the consequence is your speaking ability. But if you're always doing stuff in that language, if you put your phone in English, if you make sure that you like, if you if you don't know anything and you need to learn how to do something, look it up on YouTube in English, like how to, I don't know, tie a tie or yep. something. Yep. Everything in English. Yep. It's immersion. Immersion. Like a simple example. I wanted to learn how to watch the clock, yeah. but on a 24 hour like clock. Okay. Like, so like 13, 12, okay. like instead of like yeah. 2 p.m., I will say 14. Exactly. Like I wanted to like force myself. Yeah. And I could never get it until I put my phone in a 24 hour thing and my computer in a 24 hour. Exactly. And it just like forces your brain to think. That's an immersion you're doing right there. Right. Because you're seeing it all the time. Every time you open up your phone, you see that number. Exactly. Right. And it goes up and it comes back over and over again. So what was it like when you came to the U.S. with your broken English? How was that experience like? Did you have any language barriers oh or my. Any problems or? Yeah, so it was it was a culture shock as well. Yeah, um, not just the language. Not just the language, because think about it this. I'm from Dominican Republic, born and raised in DR. I go to Indiana in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Nobody's Latin. It's cold, snowing. And on top of that is only English in a culture that I don't know. And then I remember going to college and um, I just sat in the back of yeah. the room, didn't talk to anybody because no. I just didn't feel comfortable yeah. in, in that environment. So um, yeah, it was, it was tough. It was tough for sure, especially like the first uh, year. I remember like 2015, yeah. it was tough because I didn't know anybody. Yeah. I didn't know anybody, nobody knew me, new language, new place, knew everything. Mm. I have no friends. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing here? Yeah. So it, it, I remember that. Um, and the fact that today, what you have created, mm. if I had it back then, <laughs> bro, yeah. it's like you guys have students that are learning English in three, four, five months, which is absolutely mind boggling to me Yeah. to even think that I personally, when I started, let's just say in sixth grade, yeah. it took me three years to have a broken English and then yes. another several years to have a decent English like I have today yeah. that you can have it in a couple of months just by following a process that you it's it's dumb. Yeah. It's like it's it's and it opens so many doors. Yes. The amount of money I've made because I know English yeah. is unfathomable. You see, I can't even pronounce that word. Yeah. My English is not perfect <laughs> yet. Unfathomable. Unfathom. Unfathomable. That word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's that's really interesting. So you are the person who should know that having a good process is key to getting results. Like Correct. anything. Yep. In your business and what you help other people do. So talk to us a little bit about your business and what you do and how you use English uh, yeah. in, your, in your day to day and things like that. Yeah, for sure. So um, the way I started the business, I became really good at Instagram. I grew on Instagram pages, right? So, um, so, I, so think like companies, you have an Instagram page or an Instagram account and you want to grow your followers and yep. sell more of your products, basically. Right, exactly. And then because I started trying to build my own, right, in 2013, because I wanted to become a pro, I developed a skill yeah. that allowed me to do that. And then 2016 comes, yeah. and then this guy, Tim, contacts me because he's seen the growth that I've had. He's like, hey, I want you to help me do the same on yeah. my company. I'm like, okay. And he's like, how much did you charge me? Mm -hmm. I'm like, the first number that came to my head was like, I'm going to charge this guy as much money as I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. And that was $3,500 at the time. Yeah. And then I said $3,500, he's like, done. Mm -hmm. Where is the payment? And like, 
what the heck just happened? Yeah. So you just got a payment of three thousand five hundred dollars like this, like that, and, and that was per month, every month, every month, wow, every month for a couple hours a week for just consulting and teaching him how to use Instagram. Yeah, and then that's that started, um, and then from there. I got mentors who taught me sales, who taught me how to do webinars, who taught me how to do all these different things. Yeah. And um, it was ev every single thing was in English. Nothing was in Spanish. In yeah. fact, we connected through a mutual friend, Kevin, yeah. who also speaks English. Yeah. You know? He doesn't speak Spanish. No, no not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's tried to, you know, speak Spanish to get Latinas, but that, yeah. that's about it. Yeah. That's about it. But he doesn't speak Spanish at all. Yeah. He only speaks English. Yeah. And we connected. Through our, him. Yeah. Through a mutual friend. Yeah. So, um, and today, for example, the way I use it, in my business, it's yeah. everything. Like we literally have everything built in English and then we built it in Spanish. Exactly. Through me, right? Because I know both things, but everything is in English a hundred percent. And the all the connections, like businesses, everything has been in English. In fact, I, I, I don't know if I told you this, but in 2018, I made my very first million dollars. I was 25. Yeah. You know, and as a 25 year old that has a million dollars that has made, he thinks he knows the world. You know, it's like started blowing money. Yeah. Like a stupid idiot. Yeah. I lose it all. And I end up working as a gas in a gas station as a cashier a year later. Yeah, that's crazy. So, <laughs> like, think about this. September, actually, we met when I was working at a gas station and you didn't even know. No. September. You were trying to, you were getting it back up, right? Correct, exactly. So, September 2018, I was working as a cashier in a gas station. Yeah. Right? One year later, I was working as a cashier. $1 million, 2018, 2019, working as a gas station and cashier. And the only thing that allowed me to keep going yeah. was the connections that I had. And every single connection was in English. Yeah. Not in Spanish. No. So, and then 2020 comes, pandemic happens. And allows me to leave that job as a cashier in a gas station because mm. of Kevin. They moved to Miami, yeah. Porsche Design Tower, yeah. amazing building. Maluma lives there, Anuel lives there. Yes. Like, it's stupid. And then they have an extra bedroom and they're like, hey, we have an extra bedroom. You should just come live with us. Yeah. And, but you got to pay rent. Yeah. So I'm like, jeez. Oh, and rent is going to be 5K a month plus utilities is going to be 7K a month. I have $15,000 saved up. That's all I have. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Screw it. I'm going to go. And that changing my environment yeah. of like surrounding myself with the right people allowed me to then build the business back up pretty quickly because it, it went from like zero to $89,000 a month yeah. in the first 30 days. Yes. And then, you know, from there we've grown a lot. Yeah. But everything has been in English, like yes. all the relationships, all the business connections, everything that I've done yeah. up until literally July last year. Yeah. That's when I started the Spanish brand. Yeah. July last year, all in English. What I find is really interesting is that you weren't scared of English. Like you didn't care that your English wasn't perfect or anything. You were like, I need to sell this amount of money to live and pay rent. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, you know, do it anyways. And it, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So you live the language. You don't care what people think. Uh, you educate yourself, right, in English as well. Yep. I've, I've said this to my followers many times, like for every good book in Spanish, there's 10,000 in English. <clears throat> like if you want to educate yourself and learn stuff, learn to make money or learn whatever, it is so much easier to learn that thing if you speak English because there's so much better resources out there. In Correct. English. In fact, let me tell you a couple of examples of people that like work with me today. Yeah. I have Jorge from Paraguay. He's one of my closers, like sales rep. Yes. Take sales calls and sell products and services. Yeah. He's done $55,000 in a single day in sales. Wow. He speaks broken English. Really? Yeah. He, but he speaks English. And to American care. customers. To American customers, but he doesn't care. Wow. He doesn't care. I what love the other, that. The other person thinks he lives in Paraguay. Oh, he does it from Paraguay as well. Paraguay. Like you can do this from anywhere. Yes. This, this is the beauty about this. It's like you learn English. The world is your oyster. Yes. It opens doors absolutely everywhere and you can start making money online. Yeah. Which you didn't have the opportunity to do before. Exactly. I'll give you another example. Karen from Chile. Yeah. She is from Chile, originally from Chile. Yeah. She speaks English, again, broken English. Yeah. And she's a closer. Same yeah. thing. And here's the interesting part. My business partner, Anthony Powell, does not speak Spanish. No. So he's having to train all these closers in English. And they have to understand English to be able to be trained and make money. Yeah. So, Karen is from Chile. Jorge is from Paraguay. I have another one. His name is David from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Same thing. In English and they're able to implement because they are receiving the information in English. And they live in their respective countries. Correct. They don't live in the United States. No. All they need is, is a phone. Yeah. And an internet connection. Yes. And no English. That's it.
Disculpa, una pequeña interrupción. Si necesitas aprender inglés para mejorar tus oportunidades de trabajo, si te frustra que no entiendes todo lo que escuchas, si sigues traduciendo en tu mente y estancándote en conversaciones, te quiero dar la bienvenida a mi curso de inglés. Este es el único curso que garantiza que aprendes o si no, te devuelve el doble de lo que pagaste por la inscripción. Además, tienes dos semanas de prueba sin ninguna condición. Si no te gusta, te devolvemos el 100% de tu pago. El precio en este mismo momento para unirse es de $497 dólares, un solo pago con acceso de por vida. Toda la información del curso aquí abajo en la descripción del video. Revísalo, escríbeme si tienes alguna duda y vamos con toda por esa fluidez. I think that's fantastic because a lot of my followers have certain beliefs, you know, they need to live in the United States to learn English, they need to move to another country to have better opportunities and get better jobs. And it's not true at all. Like if you just freaking speak English and ha and you start educating yourself and you look outside the box to find opportunities, like apply for a job with him, like you can, you can get to anywhere you want from your country. Yeah. And here's the cool part about this. Because you speak English, you earn dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and if you earn dollars and live in your country, yeah. those dollars go a long way. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, like, <laughs> we, we call Karen the queen of the South now. <laughs> the queen of the South. <laughs> yeah, like the Netflix show. Um, <laughs> and, like, Jorge has been able to uh, retire his, his mom because of the money he's making now. Yeah. And it all started because he knows English. Yeah. Right? So, the beauty about this is, like, because of the internet, you do not need to live in a specific place. No to make great money. The main thing is one, the language barrier, you have to break it 100%. And yes. the only way to break it is learning English. It's yes. like, you can complain, yeah. you can do whatever, or you can just like, hey, this is how it works. Yes. And I'm just gonna do what's necessary to be successful. Yes. Starting with English. And then even like being a customer service rep, which yes. does not require a lot of skill, it just requires you to message on WhatsApp and reply to emails. Yeah. As long as you understand English, yes. you're able to do that. Exactly. And companies in the United States will happily pay you yes. $2,000, $3,000 a month, which yep. a company in the United States, that's nothing. But in Latin America, that's like a ton of money. Yeah. So that's the beauty about all this stuff. Yep. And I know people that are in Colombia, Dominican Republic, and all they do is they just know English. They don't even have a, t like a college degree. No. And all they know is they know English. Yes. And they work for a company in the United States. Yes. And they get paid in dollars. And they make $2,000, $3,000 a month. Yeah. Easy, no problem. Yes. It's fantastic. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't even understand, like, if people, like, are here, are seeing this, and, like, I don't even know how you're going to put it, like, maybe subtitles or something. Yeah. But it's, like, you, like, the reason why I've been able to make millions of dollars to this day, lost it all. Yeah. <laughs> and then did millions again. Yeah. The only reason was because of the connections that I had in the United States. Okay. You know, because of English. Yes. Like, if I didn't speak English, I would not be here today. No. That is... A fact, and I could be like the same person. I could have the same skill set, but I would not be able to communicate with Kevin, for example. Yeah. Or like with all the other entrepreneurs no. that I have. I wouldn't have the business partner that I have today, which is Anthony Powell. I wouldn't be able to, even though I am the, I have the same skill. I'm the same character. I'm the same person. Yeah. But because of the language barrier, it makes it so much harder. Yeah. And the crazy thing for me is like you're paying one tenth of a degree. Yeah. That it costs you to go to college to learn the one thing that can make you a hundred times what any degree will help you make. Absolutely. And you're able to do it in three to four months exactly. versus years. Yes. For me, it's a no-brainer. So I think you should increase your price. I told you this before. I did increase my price. <laughs> Again, you should increase it a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my opinion. But because most people like, like yeah. in college, I paid to be, I'm an electrical engineer. Yeah. In Dominican Republic. Yeah. I paid a heck of a lot more money yeah. than what your program costs. Yes. And it got me nothing. Exactly. So I'm like, you should charge at a minimum yeah. the cost of tuition of a career yeah. in any country, like in yeah. Colombia or VR yeah. or whatever. Absolutely. But you don't. No. So it's like, I think you should increase your price. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I might keep increasing it a little bit year by year. If you're seeing this right now, you have not gotten into Rayo, I don't know what you're doing. Like, yeah. you get it now. Because you're going to increase the price. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to force it to increase the price. <laughs> yeah. Dude, thank you so much. I want to touch on one sub because I, sure. I, I know what everyone's thinking. Everyone's thinking, wow, this is a fantastic story. I really want to learn English. I need to learn English. I want to become independent, earn money in dollars, you know, not necessarily have to move to be able to stay with my family. But, and then the excuse come. And it's like, but Josue learned English in a bilingual school. <laughs> it's because he went to a bilingual school, right? And it's just like, 
Yeah, but what did you do in the bilingual school? Correct. Really? You, what you did every single day was you listened to English every single day. You were consuming English every single day. You didn't study the verb to be. No. You didn't study a bunch of conjugations in, on, at, which you no. just mentioned. No, it's like I couldn't even read. <laughs> exactly. You were just bombarded with English like randomly on right. a daily basis, exactly. right? You didn't have a process to study, so it took you three years to learn. But have, had you had a process based on the immersion, like listening and consuming, that is good, you would be able to get the same results in months. A hundred percent. And and like, I'll give you an example in business wise, right? Yeah. The, the biggest cost you have in life is what you don't know. Yeah. Like that's what people need to understand. Your opportunity cost to not learn English is infinite. Yes. If I wouldn't like, think about this, like how life works. If I wouldn't have kicked the teeth out from Misael, that's his name. <laughs> you know his name. Yeah, but he's a friend. He's a friend today. He is, okay. And he knows English. And he actually worked, has worked in my company in English because he knows English. So think about that. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's full circle. <laughs> that's full circle. Yeah. Had, hadn't he got his teeth kicked out, he wouldn't be right Correct. where he is today. But if I didn't kick his teeth out, I wouldn't have gone into bilingual school. If I didn't go to bilingual school, I wouldn't have learned English. If I didn't learn English, I wouldn't have the business that I have today. If I didn't have the business that I have today, yeah. I wouldn't have met you. I wouldn't have made the millions of dollars that I made. Yeah. I wouldn't have my dad even being a closer for me. I wouldn't have the business partner that I have. I wouldn't have all these other stuff. Yeah. So the biggest cost is the opportunity cost. Is like, what does it cost you to not do the thing versus do the thing? Exactly. So it's like, if something allows you to have a skill or an information that you, nobody can take it away from you. Yes. The government can take it away from you. Nobody can take it away from you. No. Nobody. Yeah. And you can take it to the grave and bank on the fact that you're going to be able to use that to make money yeah. or excel in life and grow in personal development and have better relationship with people. It's a no-brainer. So Absolutely. in my case, to answer your question, yeah. I went to that school in sixth grade, right? It was a physical school. Yeah. The awkward, like it's, think about this. A kid that's like 12 yeah. years old in an awkward scenario that doesn't know anybody. It's like this. Yes. Um, versus you being able to, from the comfort of your own home. Exactly. Do the exact same thing without the awkwardness. It's like. <laughs> it's a no brainer. Exactly. Yeah. And, and price wise too. Yes. It's like my parents had to pay a lot more for that bilingual school too. Yeah. It's like versus what your program costs. Yes. So in my opinion, and you also you have payment plans, which I, again, as a business guy, yeah, I think you are like you would increase my price immediately. I would increase price immediately, and I would not have payment plans. But that's just me. Um, yeah, but it's from a business perspective, not because I also know that you want to change completely Latin America. We have talked about this. Yes, like your goal is to completely change Latin America for them to be able to speak English. Exactly. But to answer your question, going back to that, if I wouldn't have learned English, my life would not be the same. I would be stuck yeah. in Dominican. I see my 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 own friends yeah. from college yeah. who maybe didn't they understood English a little bit, but they don't have the English language. No. They're in the same spot, stuck in the same place, mm. doing the same thing yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. So what I've like challenged everybody here just to think for your own self yeah. and think this, what are the results that you want in life? One, who has those results? Yeah. And how can I model that person? Chances are, if it's business, career, personal development, that person probably knows English. Yes. Probably. At least a broken English. But they probably know and understand English for a fact. Yeah. So it's like, okay, step one, learn the language yeah. that unites the entire world. Because yeah. if you're able to do that, then more doors open. And then the opportunity cost of you not doing that yeah. is infinite. Yeah. Like think about this. I've you've made multiple millions. I've made multiple millions. And if I'm able to buy a $2,000 course, $3,000 course, whatever the price is that teaches me how to speak English, for example, versus the amount of money that I made, it's yeah. like minuscule. It's, yeah. not, it's not even like 0.01%. There's actually stats about that. So the Latin American in general in the United States, in the United States, uh, earns $8,000 more a year, just if they speak English. So in Latin America, they earn about 20% more a year or a month, right? So if they just if they are only like earning a thousand dollars a month now then if they work just 10 ye more years in their career which they're probably going to work a lot more than that yeah. they're going to generate over forty thousand dollars more in their career just from knowing english so what is a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars to invest in your in in your english correct to be able to get forty thousand dollars more back from that knowledge exactly. and that's just the like the the monetary like result. I probably I'm pretty sure that you have gotten a lot out of 
Like, you've improved your life in many ways because of your English, not just making money. So, making money is just a very measurable yeah. number that you can see on the bank account every single day. Yeah. And you can translate it very easily. Yeah. But I've made great friends, great relationships. Like, my family now lives in the United States. Like, all these things would not have been possible without the English. Like, if you think about the three pillars of any any person that's happy or has a successful and fulfilling life, it's health, wealth, and relationships, yeah. right? So, health. Well, the best doctors and all those people probably speak English, yeah. right? Okay, cool. So, and the information typically, and all the research papers and all the information comes first in English and then it gets translated. Yeah. Okay, great. So, let's talk about relationships, right? Same thing. It's like, the, if literally, if you speak English and you have like relationships in the United States or a job in the United States yeah. the, as a guy, yeah. the chance of you getting... A, a very good woman yeah. and that sees you as successful and as a leader is very high. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. That's check number two. And number three, we're talking about wealth or money. Yeah. You'll make more money, period. Yeah. Like it's, I want to say it's a guarantee because you have to put in the work and stuff like that, but it's of course. almost a guaranteed of you being able to make more money. It's like, yeah. think about this. How can I make more money? Knowing English or not knowing English? Yeah. It's like, if you put it in a balance binary, one, yes or no. Yeah. One or zero. How do I make more money? Knowing English or not knowing English? Exactly. If none of my other conditions change or variables yeah. change. Obviously knowing English. So, yeah. okay. It's like, <laughs> if I want to make more money, yeah. just know English. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. This was amazing, bro. For sure. It's like, <laughs> and I, I, I love like what you're doing. Like, seriously, we connected uh, years ago yeah. and I've seen the growth. And when we spoke first, I'm like, you told me like, yeah, like I can teach anybody how to speak English in three to four months. I'm like, bro. Like, stop it. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop lying. Yeah. Like, that's not true. Yeah. I'm like, no, like, it's, it's true. Like, yeah. Like, I speak Spanish. Like, have you seen my, sp do you hear my Spanish? I'm like, yeah, you speak literally be better than me. <laughs> and you, like, it's true. You speak better Spanish than I do. I'm like, how do you learn Spanish? I'm like, with the same process that I'm teaching people how to learn English. Exactly. I'm like, and then, and then I see all the social proof and it's just like overwhelming. Yeah. It's like, how many, like, literally, if you were to, okay, now you understand you need to learn English. Yes. Check number one. Yeah. Now you're like evaluating, is this the right guy yeah. to learn English from? Yes. Okay, let's evaluate. Let's think. How do I know this is the right person to learn English from? Well, yeah. I will have to see if he has success stories. Yeah. How successful or the percentage of success yeah. that this guy has? Yeah. The question is, how many testimonials do you need to see? Yeah. Do you need to see five? Yeah. Do you need to see 10? Do you yeah. need to see 20? Do you need to see 50? Do you need to see 100? <laughs> How many do you want? Exactly. So it's 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 a no-brainer. And here's the craziest thing about this all. Yeah. Is that we have been instructed by traditional education that you need to go to college and then you ask them, mm. let me see your results. Mm. And he's like, oh, well, you know, um, it's about education. Yeah. No, no, nothing tangible that you can show. When has been the first school or college or academy? traditionally yeah that has shown you hey look this student this student this student this student has made all this money works in here yeah no they don't no they don't why because they know yeah that the system and and i'm gonna get into conspiracy but the system is like rigged <laughs> to force people to not think for themselves yeah and this and that's i'm um, excuse my french but that's fucking shitty yeah because you keep people in a stuck rat race that then years go by yeah and they're stuck in the same place yeah and they're like, crap, Yeah, you know? So for me is English has opened doors. I've seen how English opened doors for tons and tons of people. Yeah, I know people in the United States that are Dominican that speak super crazy broken English. Yeah. Like like it's it's super, super bad, but they're able to be have a successful business that yeah. does millions of dollars a year and communicate with people in English yeah. just because of their confidence and they know their stuff. And yeah. then the language is just the medium yeah. of communication. Yeah. So. I don't know. I can go, I can rant yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on hours about this, but in short. But that's, it's good. You listed, right? So it's first, you need to realize that you need to learn English, right? right? And then you need to real, like, you need to think, okay, who am I going to learn English from? But I think everyone's watching this are pretty confident. Okay. Learning English is important. That's why they're here. Uh, learning English from Cali is a good idea. That's why they, they follow here. Right. But then I think it's very easy to postpone things, like super easy to go, I'm going to learn English next month or next month or next month or I don't need to learn it now. That's why I always tell them and I think we've talked about this as well as every single day you let pass by without speaking English is a missed opportunity or missed dollar 
Like you're wasting, you're, you're missing out on money, relationships, a better life for every single day that passes without you knowing English. A hundred percent. And like, I, I'll, I'll say this, it's again, the opportunity cost. It's like, think about this, like, oh, well, you know, uh, I'm too busy right now. Yeah. Or, well, you know, I'm doing something next month. After this, I promise you. Yeah. It's like, we literally just started the new year. It's like, probably somebody has a new year's resolution. This year is going to be my year. Well, yeah. if you change nothing, nothing changes. So probably already in February, mm. probably you have the same habits, same thing, same conditions, same everything that you had last year. Yeah. The chances of it changing is zero. Yeah. Because you have the same thing. So if you want something to change, you have to change. That's number one. And number two, I'm going to force you to increase the price. So if you don't get in right now, you're going to pay more for later. That's a fact. Yeah. So, and I will now keep hammering for the same thing okay. <laughs> to increase the price. But the reality is this. Think about like, if people are evaluating this, it's like, let's just say you're making a thousand bucks a month, right? And if you learn English immediately out of the gate, an opportunity comes that you're able to make 2000 bucks a month. Yeah. Perfect. So that's a thousand bucks difference, which is $12,000 a year. Yeah. Now, if you were to put that into perspective of delaying it, let's just say I delay it six months, is not costing you the price of the program. No. It's costing you $6,000 because you wasted time. Yes. And the time is the only thing you can't get back. Exactly. And that's what I've realized. Yeah. Time is going to pass anyways. Yeah. And time is the only thing you can't get back. Yeah. So might as well start now, start little by little at yeah. your own pace. You're still going to be busy, yeah. but you're at least going forward in the direction of what you actually want out of life. Yeah. If you don't want it, that's fine. But yeah. I think you're here and you got to this point because you do want it. Yeah. So my, my experience, my life experience has been that. And like, I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't even know what else to tell you. So it's, it's, it, that's a reality. It's <laughs> awesome, bro. We're going to put all of Josue's social media uh, down here so you can follow him. Go ahead and follow Josue on his social media. And if you want maybe to learn how to grow your Instagram account, your Instagram page for your business, or maybe you want to work remotely from your home doing sales and things like that, this is the guy. <laughs> okay, so make sure you follow him and Appreciate all that you. stuff. Send him, send him a message. And uh, good luck to everyone. And thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Bro, thank you, so, thank you so much for having me and yeah. opening this. And um, my, one last thing is, and I've said this throughout this interview, is English changed my life mm. forever. And is the one thing that I can attribute that first domino effect mm. that allowed me to get to where I am today and where I'm going. You know, so it's, if you take one thing out of this, if that one domino would have been taken away from me, and I didn't learn English, I'm not saying I wouldn't have been able to be successful because I think I would. Yeah. But it would have taken me so much longer to get to where I am. Yeah. It would have been so much harder to be to where I am today. And I don't, honestly, I don't even know if I would because yeah. <laughs> today the success that I have in English, I've been able to translate it to Spanish and it's just blown up. Yeah. So it's English is pivotal as you guys know. Yeah. So that's what I would say as, as a thing. Just start in that one domino, that one little tiny domino, you'll look back 18, 24, 36 months from now. Yeah. And you'll be glad that you did it. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> cool, man. Mm -hmm. See you guys. <laughs> Listo. ¿Cómo te fue? Muy chévere esta conversación, ¿cierto? Cuéntame en los comentarios qué pensaste de este video. ¿Te gusta este estilo de entrevistas y así? Cuéntame todas tus opiniones aquí abajo en los comentarios. Los leo. Ahora, recuerda que tenemos una oferta en mi curso de inglés. En el curso aprendemos con historias interactivas. Muy parecido a aprender a través de conversaciones. Súper eficiente. Y es el único curso que garantiza que aprendes inglés o te devuelve el doble de lo que pagas por la inscripción. Así que revisa toda la información del curso aquí abajo dando clic en el link que está en la descripción. Recuerda que tienes dos semanas de prueba con tu compra. Si no te gusta el curso por cualquier motivo, nos mandas un mensaje y te devolvemos el 100% de tu inversión. Así para que puedas tomar una decisión informada. Empieza ahora y toma tu decisión después. Y con eso dicho, muchas gracias por tu atención el día de hoy. Espero que hayas aprendido mucho de esta conversación. Cualquier duda o pregunta que tienes acerca del inglés, cuéntame en los comentarios aquí abajo o mándame un mensaje por privado también. Con eso dicho, hasta luego, te cuidas y nos vemos en los siguientes.